Dear students, under the topic Non-Linear Partial Differential Equations, we are solving problems under the standard types. Previously, we have completed problems under type 1. Now here, we are going to learn the problems under type 2, for which first we have to know the method of solving the standard type 2. So what is standard type 2? If the function involves only z, p and q, then it is said to be of standard type 2. So only z, p and q are present. So what we have to do is, first we have to give, mark the given equation as equation 1. And we have to make a substitution by putting q is equal to ap in equation 1. How did we obtain this q equal to ap? Actually we consider z equal to f of u to be the solution of equation 1 where u is equal to x plus ay. Now what will be d, I mean uh, dou u by dou x, dou u by dou x will be equal to 1 and this will be treated as constant and it will become 0 and what will be dou u by dou y, x will be treated as constant and so this will become 0 and you will be getting a into 1 which is a. So we have obtained dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y and we know that p is equal to dou is z by dou x that is differentiating z partially with respect to x and this can be written as d is z by du multiplied with dou u by dou x this is by the method of partial differential equation we can write dou z by dou x as dou z by dou d, um, d z by du multiplied with dou u by dou x but what is dou u by dou x it is equal to 1 and so p will be equal to d is z by du and so this is p next what is what about q q is equal to dou u by i mean a uh, dou z dou z by dou y and this can be written as d is z by du multiplied with dou u by dou y but what is dou u by dou y we have obtained it as a and so substituting that we get a multiplied with d is z by du but what is d z by du it is p and so therefore q will be equal to a multiplied with p so this is how we got this substitution but all these steps you need not show in the problem for your understanding i have shown here so q is equal to ap how did we obtain this is is by this method so therefore we will be putting q is equal to ap in equation 1 so directly you can take this step you need not show all these steps so q is equal to ap we have to substitute an equation 1 and equation 1 will become uh, and become an equation in terms of p and z only when we make a substitution for q in that case we have to solve for p and we have to find the value of p and after finding the value of p we have to substitute in this equation that is we know that d z can be written as p dx plus q dy in this equation we have to substitute q is equal to a p and the value of p as well so d z will be p dx plus q is a p so a p dy p is common and so d z is equal to p multiplied with dx plus a dy so this one we have to write and we have to substitute the value of p and q in this equation now after obtaining this we have to integrate both the sides and we have to obtain the complete integral with that the problem will be completed but if in the question if they ask you to find the singular integral then you have to proceed the problem further unless and until it is mentioned you need not find the singular integral but if in the question if they ask you to find the complete integral as well as the singular integral then you have to proceed this following step now mark the uh, resulting complete integral as equation 2 which we have obtained in that equation you differentiate it with respect to a and b partially with respect to a and b so uh, when you differentiate when you do with respect to a you get an equation which you have to mark as equation 3 and when you do with respect to b you will be getting another equation which you have to mark as equation 4 from these three equations that is 2 3 and 4 you have to eliminate a and b by solving them and then you will be obtaining the singular integral so this is how you have to obtain this singular integral from the complete integral 
So this is the method for solving type 2 problems of, of the standard types. So let us proceed by solving a problem now. So dear students, now here we have the first problem under type 2. Now the given question is solve p multiplied with 1 plus q square is equal to q multiplied with z minus 1. We observe that we have only p, q and z in this equation and therefore this equation is of the standard type 2. So first we have written that the given equation is of the type f of p, q, z equal to 0. So after that mark the given equation as equation 1. So after marking it as equation 1, now if you uh, see the procedure for solving uh, such kind of uh, equations, we see that after marking equation 1, we have to put q is equal to what? a p in equation 1. So let us make this substitution now. So put q is equal to a p in equation 1. So what will happen in equation 1 when you put q is equal to a p at this place you have to replace it by a p and also here also we have a q so this q has to be replaced as a p. So you will be having p multiplied with 1 plus q square so it will be a square p square so a square p square is equal to what is q a p so a p multiplied with z minus 1. Now if you see you can cancel this p on the right with the p on the left. So these two gets cancelled and from this you obtain 1 plus a squared p squared is equal to multiply this a within the bracket. So you get a is z and then you have a minus after that a multiplied with 1 which will give you a. Now we want we want to solve for p because in this method after substituting q equal to a p in equation 1 we have to solve for p. So we will have p on the left hand side itself. So taking this 1 to the right we will be getting a square p square to be equal to a is it minus a taking this 1 to the right it becomes minus 1. Now from this we get p square to be equal to a is it minus a minus 1 divided by taking this a square to the right you will be having a square in the denominator. Now we want the value of p only so taking square roots on both the sides p will be equal to plus or minus square root of a is it minus a minus 1 divided by now square root of a square that will be a itself. So we have obtained the value of p. So we made the substitution of q to be equal to a p and solving for p we have obtained the value of uh, p to be equal to plus or minus square root of a z minus a minus 1 divided by a. Now we shall take these two and substitute in d z is equal to p dx plus q dy. So in this we have to substitute. So first we shall write this for that. So, d z is equals to p d x plus q d y. Now, we know that d z is equal to p d x and instead of q, what we have to make the substitution as a p. So, plus a p d y. Now, in these two, p is common and so what will be d z? It will be equal to taking p common, you will be having d x plus a d y. Now take this p to the left. It will go into the denominator. And so you will be having dz by p to be equal to dx plus a dy. Now let us substitute the value of p here that we have obtained. So if taking this and substituting here, if you see p here is in the denominator. So we have to take the reciprocal of this and substitute here. So it will become, so the denominator will become the numerator. So a uh, plus or minus a divided by square root of a z minus a minus 1. Why, why did we obtain it in the reciprocal form? Because p is here in the denominator and p is equal to uh, the val this value. 
because this is in the denominator the the a in the denominator will go into the numerator and the numerator becomes the denominator the reciprocal of it so remember that don't get confused so that is equal to dx plus a dy now we have to integrate on both the sides and uh, this d is that we have to write here okay d is that divided by p is what this is equal to dx plus a dy now in order to integrate the left hand side we have to use substitution method so what is that we have to make a substitution for this that is we will be putting t to be equal to a z minus a minus 1 so what will be dt so dt by d z that is dt will be equal to a d z and these two are constant so it will become 0 so dt is equal to a d z so this substitution we are going to make here so instead of a d z which is in the numerator we have to replace it by dt so it will become dt the plus or minus dt divided by square root of what is a z minus a minus 1 it is t so t we are doing this substitution in order to make the integration easier so is equal to dx plus a dy and so further integrating this this can be integrated very easily now because it can be written as t to the power negative 1 by 2 dt because the root t is t to the power 1 by 2 taking it to the numerator the power becomes negative so t to the power minus 1 by 2 dt is equal to dx plus a dy now integrating on both the sides we get what is the integral of t to the power negative 1 by 2 it is t to the power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is equal to integral dx is x plus a is a constant integral dy is y and there we have to add a constant of integration and let me let it be b so plus b and from this what do you obtain we get plus or minus t to the power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 is t to the power 1 by 2 which can be written as square root of t itself divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 is again 1 by 2 and the 2 goes to the numerator so 2 square root of t is equal to x plus a y plus b now in order to get rid of this square root we can square on both the sides so i will write here so squaring on both the sides what we get i have taken and written it here now we have to do squaring on both the sides so squaring on both the sides plus or minus will become plus itself because if we take the square of plus it will be plus only if we take the square of minus also it will be plus only and so we are going to get only plus here and what is the square of 2 2 2 times is 4 and uh, the square root of t the whole square the square root will get rid of and we will be having only t and that is equal to x plus a y plus b the whole square so this is squaring on both the sides this is what we obtain but what is t already we have made a substi uh, substi substitution for t and what was that we have taken if you see here we have taken t to be equal to a z minus a minus 1 we have to take this and substitute here so when we do that it will be a z minus a minus 1 is equal to x plus a y plus b the whole square so this is the answer for the given uh, problem so hope you have understood this in our next video we will solve problem 2 so kindly follow the next lecture thank you